people say less is more, and in some circumstances, they're right. Less work leaves more time for play. Less stress results in a more peaceful life. But don't kid yourself, more is in fact more, and the 2014 Acura RDX proves this. Downsizing and turbocharging are all the rage these days as automakers struggle to deliver ever greater fuel economy numbers. Now, if you remember, the first generation RDX actually featured a four cylinder turbo. It displaced 2.3 liters and it put out a healthy 240 horsepower. Now, this compact luxury crossover was redesigned for 2013, and engineers went ahead and tossed the baby right out with the bathwater. And you know something? They've been saving money on diapers and getting a lot more sleep. The new RDX gives customers more of just about everything. They get more horsepower, a more advanced transmission, more satisfying dynamics, more passenger space, more cargo volume, and if you can believe it, more miles per gallon. Yes, way more. Comparing all-wheel drive versions, the 2014 model I've been testing stickers at 19 MPG City and 27 Highway, according to the tree-humping, sandal-wearing Enviro Nazis at the US EPA. The best the previous generation RDX could muster is a meager 17 city and 22 on the interstate. Now, interestingly, the new model's combined fuel economy rating is identical to the previous gen's highway figure. Now that is progress. Cylinder deactivation helps boost efficiency, as does a smaller, lighter gearbox and a completely new all-wheel drive system, which is no longer of the super handling variety. And that's okay, it was total overkill in a crossover. The 2014 RDX is powered by a familiar friend, Honda's versatile 3.5 liter V6. In this application, it delivers 273 horsepower with 251 pound-feet of liquid smooth torque. It's paired to a talented six-speed automatic transmission that knows all the right dance moves. The engine and gearbox are perfectly paired. They are a match made in heaven. And this drivetrain practically shrieks like a Formula One car when you open it up. The 2014 RDX is deceptively quick with a pleasantly broad power band, but as brilliant as those underhood bits are, I am not all that impressed with the steering. It just feels a little bit light, a little loose, and a bit dead. Overall, the vehicle's interior is very nicely done with an abundance of soft, high-quality materials and a cohesive design. It's not as luxurious as the Mercedes ML 550 I tested a few weeks ago, but that was opulence overload. The rich aroma of leather was so strong, it nearly asphyxiated me. It was also twice the price. Still, the RDX's cabin is really well done, and the fit and finish is damn near perfect. But there is one thing I cannot stand, and it's staring me right in the face. How come you can get a beautiful, full-color LCD display in the gauge cluster of a Ram 3500 work truck, but Acura RDX drivers have to stare at pixelated readouts that look like they were ripped off of a graphing calculator. If cost cutting is to blame, then an abacus for the odometer might actually look better. The RDX's audio and navigation controls are kind of strange. It's got a multi-function knob on the dashboard that's augmented by a smattering of buttons, which can be challenging to use since everything looks so similar. Additionally, some of the menus are pretty counterintuitive, but overall it's no worse than competing systems on the market today. No single automaker has really nailed the telematics question just yet. Now, unlike Acura, most luxury brands seem to prefer console-mounted iDrive-style controls opposed to buttons and knobs up on the dashboard, but I guess it's just a case of different strokes for different folks. Additionally, keyless entry and push-button start are standard on every RDX. Out back, this vehicle stays true to its crossover heritage. The rear seat is comfy and pretty spacious, plus there's generous cargo room, nearly 77 cubic feet with the back bench folded. A power closing tailgate is a handy addition. So this little Acura is fun to drive, and it's got a really nice interior, but how much does it cost? 
Well, pricing starts at about $35.5, and that gets you a base model with front-wheel drive. But this version, it's a range topper. It's got all-wheel drive and the technology package. It stickers for a whopping, well, I actually have no idea because they did not provide me with the Monroney for this vehicle. But building one on the Acura consumer site results in a price of about $40,500, which is comparable to vehicles like the Audi Q5 Premium Plus with a four-cylinder engine or an up-level version of the Infiniti EX37. It's a difficult concept to grasp in today's world of layoffs, cutbacks, and financial distress, but as I said at the beginning of this feature, more is in fact more, and you get plenty of it with the 2014 Acura RDX. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com. Recording? Have you started rolling? Is the camera running? Did you start it going? You ready? I'm ready. You're rolling? Can I start? Can I go? I'm ready to go when Craft Services gets here with my bear claw. I want the one with the custard inside it, not the non-dairy whip topping, those are disgusting. I think we would all agree.